Welcome to the fastest off in town today. Let me start this Babakama Daf Nun Hey. We are going to begin on the very bottom of Nun Dalit, on the base, two lines from the bottom. Shol Rabbi Hanina ben Ogil. So he asked this Rabbi Chia Baraba the following question. How come there's a difference between the first Seris Adibros found in Parshish Yisro and that which is found in Parshish Vashkanan? Originally, we'll never be toy. When it comes to the mitzvah of Kibbut Aim, it doesn't say the word good. However, as we continue to Nun Hamad Aleph, never behem toif. It does say, and Rashi again helps us out here, Gabi Kibbut Aim Dechsev Behem Laman Yitavlach. So why is it only good the second time around? So on this, the Gemara says like this, Oymer Lo, Adshiata Shualeni Laman Never Behem Toiv. You're busy asking me this question about the word tov. Shalani im nemer behen toiv im lav. You should actually ask me if it says tov or not. Sheeni yode im nemer behen toiv im lav. Because I'm not sure actually if it does say tov or not. So klach eitzel rab tanachin bar chani loy. Shohi rugal eitzel rab yeshua ben levi. So he was often bar yeshua ben levi. Shohi baki ba gada. And he was an expert in in a gada. <coughs> Also, Gabi went to Marmalay Mimenu Voloi Shemati. From him, I didn't hear. However, El Kachlai Merli Shmuel Bar Nachum. It was said by Shmuel Bar Nachum. Achi Imo Shel Rav Acha Bar Bechanina, who was the mother's brother of Rabbi Acha Bar Bechanina. The Armory Law. Avi Imo Shel Rav Achi Bar Bechanina. Some say it was the mother's, um, the mother's father of. Rab Achi Rab Chanina. It's interesting. Why do we need to know the mother, the brother? The so again, it's connected. Interesting. Probably to keep it up. Aim. Since at the end they were going to be broken. I don't understand. Just because they were going to be broken, uh, well, how does that change things? We would not want Toiv to be removed from Israel. So that is the the answer. Rabbi Yeshua Haroya Tes Bachaloimo. If someone sees the letter Tes, which is a pretty uncommon word, but Rashi says Tes Shiksuba Rishon Batayra Nemer Lataiva. The very far, first time it says the word Tes, it's linked to good. Simon Yafalo, it's a good sign. My time. Ilim Yashim Dixiv Toiv, because it says the word good. So Ema, maybe it's referring to the Te Te Sia. Be mataate hashmed. It's like, oh yeah, the pasuk in Yerm in in uh, in Yeshaya about I'll sweep you toward destruction. I mean, again, okay, it's not the first time it says test. Okay, bechad test kamrinon. One test is what we're referring to. So perhaps again that that's referring to well, there's only one test over here. The word vete uh, tesia and the word. Okay, let's just focus on that. Even though there's also a vav before it, but which is a good question. Um, but uh, there's two tesses in that word, so that doesn't count. Okay, so ema tumasa bishuleha. Why don't we say regarding um, the hem of her clothing um, that she is tame? So tamea. So maybe that's what the tes is tame. So tes bays kamrinan. Tess bays kamrinon. So, in other words, you have a tess and a and a bays. Okay. So aim tovu ba'aretz shareha. So it's not that you just saw the the tess, but you also saw a bays. So then maybe it's tovu ba'aretz shareha, which has a tess and a bays, and it would mean it's sunk into the earth. El hoyo pasachol hakasul b'tayva tchila shemibreishis ad v'yarlokim as or looks if tess. So it's because, as Rashi kind of hinted to the Maskana, it's because it's the first time it's actually mentioned the word, the letter Tess, attributing it to Toiva, to goodness, in Bereshus, all the way until that Hashem saw the Yaro came as Or. Loksiv Tess, it's not written Tess. When a person sees a eulogy, Rashi says, Teva Zulavada Haruha. And in a eulogy, he only saw this one letter, Chasoleha min Hashemayim. He has mercy in Hashem. 
Upaduhu will be redeemed. Hanimili Bixava. That's only if it's actually written down. Not an actual eulogy about you, but you saw it written down. Okay. Let's look at question T B fourteen. Okay. Madua Madua Lo Nikta Bedibar Sarishan Salman Yitavlach Gabi Kibud Av Vim Kamoi Gabi Kibud Havi Aim Kamoshi Kosiba Khronis. I'm just trying to read too fast, trying to do too many things at the same time. So TB 14, let's, even though the question does begin on Nun Dalin Mabez, but the Rashi is on the top of the Ahmed Aleph, and let's see how um, they want us to answer this question. So the answer that they say is Mikivan Shasid and Hoyalucha Sarishenis Lishtabir Upaska Chasvisholm Taibu Israel. Because the first set are going to be broken, and therefore we don't want Taiba to be broken or to be removed from Klai Yisrael. So because of that, we don't say the word Taiva. It was already understood from the time that it was given that there was this uh, strong possibility or guarantee that the Luchos would be broken. Therefore, we don't want to have Toiv attributed to something which is broken. Which is an interesting thought process. Something broken, something missing, is not good. It's got to be something which is complete, ha- is able to be contributed to that which is good. Okay, but So, v'chein chayev oiv ki yoitz v'hen. So, Omer Yishlokesh, kan... Shona Rebbe. Rebbe learned that Tarnagol Tavos Upasyoini Kilaim Zebazet. So you have these different types of birds, a Tarnagol, a peacock, and a Pasyoini is usually translated as a partridge. Um, yeah, like the famous song in December. So if all, all these different three animals which are connected to one another, um, those are those are considered to be um, that's kilayim. Okay, that's min shenu mina subshita. Well, obviously, why would you think that they're not? So Amram Chaviva, he said mishum darabo. He said bahadi hadadi. These birds, the uh, rabu bahadi hadadi. They actually live together. So ma'adatim a minchad hu kamashmon. Since they live near each other, so therefore you would maybe think they have some connection. Um, they're like one min. So pasioini, which I translate as a partridge, Rashi says it's a min slav. A slav, of course, in the Torah is called a quail, but again, it's a type of quail. Again, often translated as a partridge. Two dots. Or mishmul. Avos, a goose. The avos habar, and a wild goose. Kilaim zebzeh. So even though they really are the same, they're goose, they're both geese, nonetheless, it's kilaim. So maskal varava, Bar Rav Chanan, my time. Oh, why would you say they're kolayim? Ilu mimisham dehai orich kue. Is because one of them has a long beak, vai zuter kue, and one has a more narrow beak. Gamiata gamla parsa ve gamla taya. These different types of camels, um, taya is an, an from an Arab, a Ravi, an Arab camel. Dehai olim kue. This one has a thicker neck. Bahai Kotin Kue, and this one has a thinner neck. Hachinami de Havi Kilaim Zemazet. That's also Kilaim, these two different types of camels, but they're the same camel. So why don't we say the same thing when it comes to uh, these birds, these geese? El Amr Abai Zeb Baits of Mimachutz and Zeb Baits of Mimachnim. It's because their baits him, one of them is on the outside. What is that referring to? So Rashi helps us out. Beitzi hazachros nikarin ba'avos habar mibuchutz. So there's a fi- another physical characteristic when it comes to a male bird that when it comes to their their beitzim, they are either more revealed than the other one. Now Papa Oimer ha tuuna chad biyasa b'shulcha v'ha tuuna kama biyasa b'shichla. So he says another difference is one needs this Rashi. Uh, it doesn't need the first beitz until the it uh, doesn't need the second one until the first one is born. Okay. Um, 
Amar Rav Yirmiya So that's Beitz and Zachos And this is Eno Toyin Beitz Ashniya Ad Shetel Okay So again there's There's other differences When it comes to these birds That's why it's Kilayim Amar Rav Yirmiya Amar Yishlakish Amar Bia Shnei Minim Shemayom If you mix uh, In co-breed Two Fish um, Two sea creatures Loika So my time Was Amar Avada Baravo Amar Shemidu Lisa Nevaravo also, minehu minehu miyabasha. So he learns out a gzer shava, and therefore, just like there's an issue of kilaim on animals by a basha on dry land, so too when it comes to um, water creatures. Boy rachva. So he asks a question. Haman hig beiz of a shibut amahu. What's the din if you have kilaim, which is not just having them live together, but also plowing together? Let's say you have. Rashi says. Kasher Karoin, you tied a wagon le'ez to a goat, the dog, and also to a fish. Zet saf al mayim, the fish is in the water. Zem Moshe Chimon al Svasayam, and the goat is on the seashore. Mahu, me am reading kivan de izaloi nachas beyam. Since the goat doesn't go into the water, v'shibuto lo salakli abasha, and this fish doesn't go on dry land, lo kum of it's really nothing that you've done. O Dilma hashdemias kamanhik, you're still having them lead. Um, with these creations, and therefore maybe it's not allowed. So maskim ravina el miata chibar chito sa'ar biyadai. Let's say you attach wheat and barley in your hand, bizar chito b'aretz, and you plant wheat into the earth. U sa'ar b'chutzal aretz and barley in chutzal aretz. How can nami demachayiv? Would you be chayiv uh, in that situation? So says Rashi. Kilaim shebechutzal aretz lo nahaga. We know that. Kalayim and Chutz Aretz were not Noyig. The mitzvah had to be Aretzi. The whole Chayiv is Karka in Noyig El Ba'aretz Min Atayra. So you can say, well, one is a Chayiv and one is a Petur. So are you going to tell me that you're going to be Chayiv in that situation? When there, when part of it is no connection to one another because the Chutz Aretz is not, there's no din uh, of things which are Tuli Ba'aretz like Eretz Israel. So Amri Hachi Hashta Hasam Eretz Makam Chayuba. Chutzlar, it's low makam chiyuba. They're in totally different locations. One is a makam chiyub, one's not. Hachi idi v'idi chiyuba hu. However, both of these are ba makam chiyub. And therefore, maybe, Yutak would say, the din is that you would be uh, chayub. Okay, so we don't know the answer, but certainly it's not, um, you can't compare it to that other case. Says question TA13. Haman hig b'iz v'shibuta mahu. So it's really an aboy delishata. So ma tzad ein zekilayim. So it's not kilayim. Kima the iza on nachas. It can't go. It doesn't go into the water. Uh, and the shibuta will salt the yabasha. And it doesn't go in. The fish doesn't go on dry land. So therefore, because of that, perhaps that's a pretty clear reason why you would say that it's not going to be a din kilayim. Hadnulach shor shenaga chasapara. Hadnulach shor shenaga chasapara. Hadnulach shor shenaga chasapara. We've completed the fifth parak. We're now going to continue on Nun Hamid and Bays with the famous parak, parak Shishi, parak Akainis. Maybe the seventh parak, even more. <laughs> A lot of famous brachim in this Messiah, I guess. So Akainis, Soin Ladir. Let's say a person brings, and we're going to focus on the word Soin, a sheep, into a pen, the Nal Bifanaha. And it was closed in front of this sheep, kiroi properly. So it was locked properly. So it's not going to run away. Viyotza, and it went out somehow. Hezika, potter. So in that situation, you're going to be potter. Because after all, as Rashi says, you protected it. So it sh- nothing should happen. We'll see how did it escape. We more actually talked about this elsewhere in this Masechta. But regardless, if it does somehow get out, you're going to be potter. Says Tysus. Zehoi Roy Lishno Isl Bahadi Mili de Shore. The question is why is this the right place to have this parak? You really could have been talking about the whole all the dinam of the animals. Dohoi lo lifsik bemili de boar. The reason why we're masik the matters of a pit, El Agav the Tana Nuffle Abor, Vihivish me mav tana bari uh basre mili de boar. So we were talking before about an animal Talking about dinam of an animal, but an animal falls into a pit. So once we talked about a pit, so therefore we continued talking about the dinam of a, of a pit. But again, just focusing 
in uh, remaining more consistent, perhaps we should have brought this uh, over there. Okay, regardless, that's just the reasoning as why everything's written the, where it is. Let's say you didn't properly shut the door for this animal. So that's pretty logical. Now, let's say it somehow breaches its way through in the middle of the night where you're not watching it because it's pitch black and you didn't know it happened. Listen. Let's say Liston smashed a hole and therefore they made it so that the animal is able to escape. Because again, it's not really your fault in any of these cases. Let's say the Liston took the animal out. So now the Liston are the ones who are chayv for, uh, for this. Now, if you look in Taisus Nifritza Belayla, he says, Inama Belayla, I feel Naidlosh Nifritza. Even if you knew that it happened, there was a hole, Viyotza Habehema, Enlo Litroy Chiosimidai Lachsa Achreha Bafeila. We're not going to require you to have to uh, fix, the ho- fix that fence in the middle of the night. So that's an interesting point that Taisus brings out. Hanicha Bahama, let's say it was um, in the sun, Rashi says, Mitzarala Shamsha, the sun is causing anguish. It's not enough to keep it properly, a uh, regular lock. This is a door that you could um, stand, could, is, is able to withstand a Ruach Matsuya. But if the animal gets so hot, it ends up going stir crazy. And therefore, because of that, it could end up breaking out. If you entrusted this animal with someone who is not a bardas, so then you're going to be chayv. If you give the animal over to a shepherd, so he's going to take upon the responsibilities, and therefore if there's any damages, he'll be chayv. Let's say fell into a garden, where Ashley says, says, by accident, Megag Baila, and it fell off the owner's roof and was near the garden of your friend. And it fell again from a high place onto this garden. And because it landed there, it started uh, getting Hana, eating from this person's property. So the slush we had before. So you do have to pay the Hana. Says Rashi, Lafi Hanasav Lafi Hazeka. We don't pay in accordance to the damage that it did, but only the Hana that it has. Again, because this was an, um, not intentional. Yard Kedarka, let's say it went in a normal manner, then Hazika Mashlomus Mahazika. Then you have to pay the full damage. So Kate Mashlomus Mahazika, what does that mean? So Shaman base saw, Boisa saw, then we evaluate the measurement of a base saw um, in this field. How much it was worth, how much it is worth, says Rashi. In Shoman S. Haruga Lavada. We don't just look at the, the one row where he landed on. Um, went into another field. And the Gemara is Darshan, says Rashi. The whole field. So again, not that we look at the row, but we look at the entirety of the field, how much it was worth, how much it is worth. Okay. If he eats complete fruit, says Rashi, fully ripened fruit, uh, perfectly good fruits, then then is Paris Gemur, and you have to pay back that amount. Im saw saw. So siam, so siam, which seems to be obvious. Uh, that obviously you have to pay back whenever it is. Says the Gemara. Tanurban, ezu karoi ve ezu shul karoi. So he said that if you lock the sign properly, so the din is you're going to be punter if it escapes. But if it's not proper, then you'll be chayav. What does that mean exactly? The Gemara says ve ezu shul karoi del shechay lamed baruch matzuya, a door that can stand. A Ruch Matsuya Zehu Kuroi. Shani Yachol Am Ruch Matsuya Zehu Shlo Kuroi. If even a regular normal wind is going to knock this thing down, that's not considered to be a proper watching. So Omar Rav 
money bar patish man tana muad sagli bishmir pachusa. Who is this tana that holds that when it comes to a muad that we allow even a shmira pachusa? Rabbi Yehuda he did not kashru balav b'moiseira. This is what, again we had before not memhei that if you t- the owner tied the animal up with its reins. Uh, in uh, the full of fun of, and then it you tied it up and you locked it up. Kiroi probably also the hizik echatam echad muad chayim dibra meir. So a meir holds that you're still going to be chayim, not only by a tam but also by a muad, um, because according to a meir he holds that this shmira is only shmir pchusa, and that's not enough. Um, it, you need even more. Rabbi Huda Omer tam chayim muad potter. Rabbi Huda says it, it, there's a distinction. When it comes to a tam, so you're going to be chayim. However, by muid, by muid, he taka allows a, ta, a tam. According to Rabbi Huda, says you cannot have a shmir pachusa. But for a muid, you do need, um, you don't need a muid, a, a, a shmir pachusa. Shnemer vo yishmerenu balav v'shom v'shomer hu v'shomer hu zet. That's a shmir pachusa, and that's specifically referring to a uh, the din. Uh, that uh, that you didn't even do a shmir pachusa, but if you did a shmir pachusa by muid, then you would be potter. The only way you can protect this animal, or well, not really protect it, but the only shmira is dafka with a with a knife. What does that mean? It says so. It says Rashi. Deal rameir miu b'shmir meula sagile. According to a mayor, he holds you need a um, uh, shmir meula. Rabbi Lezer suffer. There is no watching a muid. A muid, a wild animal, the only way you can guarantee it doesn't kill anyone or damage anyone is if you kill it first. So therefore we see, certainly not like Rabbi Lezer, that Shmir Pchus is enough. And we see Rabbi Huda holds that by muid, your potter, because he holds um, that... Uh, Okay, fine. So, so these are the different sheetas. So the answer is like this: A field team rameir. Now rameir holds that when it comes to a tam or a muad, you're chayiv because a shmir pchus is not enough. But maybe this mission is still like him because shani shein varegel da tarim yuta b'shmirasan. The pasuk actually is mamayit when it comes to their shmira. So because of that, um, because of that. That's the reason why it's shaykh that it can be like Rameir, because we're talking about the dinim of Shin and Regal. Rameir agrees by Shin and Regal that a Shmir Pachusa is enough. He only argues when it comes to Karen, the damages with the animal's horns. However, to Shin and Regal, even a Shmir Pachusa is enough. So therefore, again, this whole machlokas of it goring, which is Kavanos Lahazik, is dafka with a Karen, with a horn. Not mashen kim. We're talking about a shen v'regel, and that it's 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 for hana. It's it's right. It's matzah the damage, but because of that, a shmir pachusa is sufficient. Yomer belaz of yomer lo b'masnisa tana arm of arm hatar miyata b'shmirasa and be'elhein bor ve'esh shen v'regel. So we find actually four places in which the level of shmir is not as intense as that of Karen. How do we see this bor? Dixiv ki yiftach ish bor. And you open up the pit. You dig it. You don't cover it up. All you need to do is cover it up in your potter, which sounds like it's a, really a small thing. But as long as you cover it up, which means even a small amount, as Rashi feel a porta, then it's considered to be a shmira. Even though it's a shmira, you'll be potter. So the person who did this fire has to pay. It has to be Kain Mavir that he made the fire himself. It says Rashi Bibshia. However, if it wasn't Bibshia, so then you'd be Potter, which means again, even a smaller amount of protection of this fire, and it wasn't negligent, you would not be Chayv. Okay. Shane, and this is what we're getting at over here in our Mishnah. Shane Dixi Vivir Bistay Acher. Adi Ovid Kain, as we said, it has to be Kain Uvier. Says Rashi Kain, Shachilenu Lebehemto Biadaim Kor Bibshia. That you caused your animal be a dime to eat, which means you did it negligently. That's what it means. And regal also shilach on the oven kain That's only like when it was uh, intentional or be a dime, 
Therefore, Shmir Pechus, like our Mishnah says, would be enough. Okay, so that is the uh, answer. Vosanyim, Veshilach, Zeharegel. When it says Veshilach, it's referring to the Regel, as we saw at the beginning of this Masech, the very beginning of the base. Vechenu Oimer, Mishalchi, Regel, Hashor, Vachamor, Uvir, when he said Uvir, Zehashen, that's referring to the tooth. Vechenu Oimer, Kashu, Yaver, Hagalal, just like the um, destruction of the tooth, on Tumo until its completion. Time of the Ovid, Cain, Meshilach, Uvir, Haloi, Ovid, Lo. If you didn't do it these ways, then you would be potter. So therefore, this is actually a kind of a nechusa. This is a, a proof. Omer Rav, Omer Rabba, Masnis and Nami Deka. In fact, if you look at our Mishnah, it's pretty clear. The tiny Tsoin. Why does the Mishnah use the example of a sheep? Right? Michdi, Meshor Kaskin. We've been talking the whole time about an ox. Why are we talking about a sheep? Vyasin Nisni Shor. Vyasin Nisni Shor. My Shnah, the tiny Tsoin. Beautiful shot. Is that an, a sheep doesn't have these big long horns that are goring people. Uh, the damage of a sheep is generally it's eating things of a person's property or stepping on things in that way. So Shane Beregel is why our mission is talking Dafka about a tsoin and not a, a shore because a shore is possibly karen and by karen you're right you may, a shmir pechusa may not be enough when it comes to a tsoin because it mentions the word tsoin it's coming to include or dafka speak about shen beregel so it's tsoin there's no karen there's only shen beregel tanya i'm rabbi shul arba de barim ha'isa ha'isan potter midi de adam v'chai bide shemayim v'elhein these are the four things and this is we're going to get to the two dots but this is going to continue. Hapirets gather mifnei behemas chaveroi. If you breach a wall in front of your animals, your friend, your the, your friend's animal, and therefore ends up going out and does does damage. So it's your your you didn't you you did break it biadayim, but in this case you're going to be potter. We'll discuss. Maybe it's grama. Va koyfe kamasoi shel chaver. One who bends the grains of his friend mifnei had lekas of the fire. Basaycher edi sheker lohayed, someone who basically pays uh, false witnesses to testify. Biade edis lechaver of heinu made loy, someone who knows the testimony of his friend and doesn't do anything about it. Those are four places where you're going to be chayev um, only bidi shemayim, but not bidi adam. Again, the Gemara is going to discuss uh, this at greater length, so it's going to just keep going. So there's no no need for us to start it now. Okay, we're going to stop there. Let's look at question four. Question four. Koine sain. Ma dua naka hatan at sain. Lua shor. De koi be ad hacha. So he says. Kamash mon. De dafka mishin barego. Hu de mi. Bata tayre. Bishmi rasta. Misang mishmi rpachusa. Vloi bikaren. Moed. Asad kan.